an inspiration for all. You may remember the story of Bethany Hamilton, an up-and-coming teen surfer who was attacked by a shark back in 2003. She lost her left arm in that attack, but vowed to get back on the board, and she has many times. Bethany has been a fixture on the pro surfing circuit for several years now. Her determination and drive to overcome the tragic attack wasn't lost on Hollywood. The story is told in the movie Soul Surfer. Bethany and her mother, Sherry, join me now in studio. Uh, now, great to have you here. Um, Thank you congratulations on the movie and your new Thank book you. that you've written. Um, first, let me ask you, I know you were injured uh, not too long ago uh, in Indonesia. Uh, what happened and, and how are you doing? Well, um, <clears throat> I was on a surf trip in Indonesia, um, just searching for waves. And um, where I was, it's basically in the middle of nowhere. Like, no any kind of, um, like, no internet or phone service or anything like that. And um, I was surfing, and I hit my fin on my arm. Little oh. gash. And um, I ended up damaging a nerve. So then I ended up having to get surgery about a week later. And, uh, the doctor repaired my nerve, so I'm in healing mode right now, and I haven't surfed for like two weeks, so I'm a bit, my scales are drying out, but I bet, I'm just I bet happy you that I'm okay. Concerned. I mean, because I understand you lost quite a bit of blood there. Yeah, I did, and um, we were at least a 15-hour boat ride from any kind of help, so it was a bit intimidating at the time, and um, so when, yeah. when do you think you might be back on the board and competing uh, again? I think I have a couple weeks, so. That's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. I'm yeah. just trying to, you know, take it one day at a time. Um, the movie, Soul Surfer, uh, big success, opened really well, doing well in the theaters, coming out on DVD. Um, what was it like? I mean, I understand that you were on set for much of it, your family. Um, wh I, what was it like to, to be there and sort of relive all of this? Um, it was exciting and an amazing journey making the film. Um, you know, Sean McNamara, the director of the film, really allowed my family and I to be a part of every step of the way, from casting to script writing, and then we all pretty much lived on set, and um, it was really good, and it helped keep the authenticity and truth in our story, and that's what really mattered to us. And, and a lot of new details uh, are, in, are in the movie and also uh, certainly in your book. Um, right, yeah. Sherry, about what happened that day that you lost your arm. Uh, is there anything, uh, Sherry, that you can that you can tell us that we should know that we haven't heard before? Well, one detail that I just learned, which didn't didn't make my book, um, the day we shot the Thailand scene, the next day the tsunami hit Hawaii. Hmm. It was small, but it was just interesting that that happened. Mm. Uh, but as as the as you worked on the movie and you saw it all, I mean, was it how difficult was it to just you know relive all of that as, as a family? Well, yeah. a few scenes were traumatic. I had to walk away from the monitor. I couldn't handle. Yeah. I guess for the parents, it's uh, it was a bit rough. Um, for me, I healed so well from the whole experience, and I just enjoyed getting to know Anna Sophia, who played me, and I thought she did an amazing job. And, and just, I learned a lot every day on set of how making a movie is, it's so difficult. And um, it was really a, a lot of fun, though. The movie um, is called Soul Surfer, as we mentioned. How important is, is your faith to you? Because I know that that certainly played a, a big role. And even uh, there was a little bit of controversy uh, about the role of faith in the film. Yeah, I mean, um, my faith in God is part of who I am. So I think it's important to share who I am and what I believe in. And it was exciting to be able to sh like show the struggles and the hard times that we went through, but also triumphing over that. And a let, lot of let me let me. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So oh. sorry to interrupt you. But uh, House Speaker John Boehner is speaking now. So let's let's listen in first. Okay. And there she is, Bethany Hamilton, pro surfer, an inspiration to so many. Uh, she's in studio with us, uh, along with her mom Sherry. We were talking to her before uh, John Boehner, uh, the House Speaker, had come out to make some comments on uh, on the debt ceiling. So we just wanted to uh, just continue that and just say thank you, a formal a formal thank you for coming into uh, studio. Didn't want to leave the interview uh, just as we did. So uh, I just want to mention, though, the DVD about your movie Soul Surfer comes out August 2nd. And you have the book, Raising a Soul Surfer, which is uh, certainly going to be an interesting read. So thank you both for coming <laughs> Mahalo. in. Mahalo. Mahalo. Very nice. <laughs> Hawaiian. Appreciate it. Thank you.